Uh, hope everyone's doing well tonight. Good. Good deal. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. So, um, all right. So, one thing I want to get started with is, you know, this is Scout Book 101. Uh, basically, uh, you know, to just get your troops started in Scout Book. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm probably by far not the expert in Scout Book. But I've been, uh, you know, pushing what pushing pushing the envelope for myself and trying to find and trying to learn more and more. And um, I wanted to, in fact, just tonight I learned something from another troop that is using a scout book that I'll share with you. So, um, you know. I'd like to know where 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 are you guys with Scout Book? Are you trying? Uh, are you brand new to it? Are you is your troop uh, brand new to it, or is this uh, you know what's the story? So I'm just going to pick on names. Chris, what's your story with Scout Book? Uh, we've been using it for uh, just over a year um, for our troop. Um, it's been working pretty good. Uh, a little bit of issues with the um, service log stuff where they move that to internet advancement. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, uh, picking on another person, Sean. Sean Vontman. So um, I was with the pack last year. We used it for advancement stuff to uh, instead of scout net. And then uh, I'm new to the troop side of it, but uh, we use true web host mostly, and uh, I think that uh, they use scout book only to uh, to process the uh, advancements and the merit badges and stuff like that. Oh yeah, you're definitely missing out on some good stuff, Miss Leonard. There you go. I just put it in the chat. Uh, my son's troop doesn't really use it at all. Uh, my daughter's troop uses it extensively at this point uh, to keep track of everyone's advancement and to RSVP for events. Um, and uh, my patrol, we're supposed to be using it to send out email, but my patrol is still using the, uh, the Google group that we had set up before. So I don't okay. really understand Scout Book email very well yet. Okay. And I've done right. it as a merit badge counselor too. Okay, good, but, good. Yeah, I'd love to know if there's a faster way to connect kids as a merit badge counselor instead of typing in each kid's individual BSA ID. Yeah, I don't think that there is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I don't think that there is. Okay. Uh, Jean, what's your story with Scout Book? Sorry, no audio. Okay. Uh, okay, Gina Wu, what's your story? Uh, basically, uh, I'm pretty new to the scout book. Uh, my troop is uh, using the, um, uh, I just uh, started in the uh, troop master, uh, which is um, uh, my, uh, my troop is using right now. And what I heard is that I have to input the uh, advancement uh, data uh, in order to report it uh, into uh, the scout book. So the data can be uh, transferred to a uh, so, so that's uh, the reason why I'm here. Okay. Well, all right. So it sounds, you know, we do got a pretty good breadth of, uh, of uh, you know, use of, of the uh, of Scout book. And, um, you know, so I, I hope that I, with the more advanced users, I hope I can give you a, a tidbit that will be helpful. Uh, you know, this will be a, a discussion, you know, so an open discussion uh, as we go through this because, you know, I, I want to learn too, okay? We're all, you know, that's the neat thing about scouting is we are learning um, pretty much all the time. So like for t today, I learned uh, from Dave Holt, who's, who's Troop 582 uses uh, Scout Book very extensively. Uh, that if your scouts send an email to you as a scout leader, uh, it automatically copies their parents for, for YPT. 
because I, how many, you know, I'm, I'm sure most of us have been, uh, have received an email from a scout that failed to copy another adult. And we have to add the other adult and reply and say, please remember to always copy an adult. Okay. So in Scoutbook, it'll actually make it very uh, um, automated. Okay. All right. Can I make a comment about that? Um, Absolutely. Uh, I've noticed that number. I send out an email to scouts and it does go to their parents, but if they have a separate email account from their parents and they just do a reply, it does not go back to Scoutbook. They have to purposely go through Scoutbook in order for it to maintain um, ah. the YPT. Um, otherwise, they just do a reply like normal and it just goes straight to me. And then I have to, once again, include their parents again to uh, make sure. And then I mention it in the email to include their parents. Okay, so the email doesn't go back to back isn't routed back through Scoutbook. Yeah, that 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 would be a good thing to add, wouldn't it? Yeah, and there's no way to track it in Scoutbook of what emails you sent out either, as far as I know. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm here tonight is uh hopefully find out more about the email system. Uh well then I don't know that I'm going to be able to help you with much with that unless someone else has got some more uh, information on that. But I, you know, that's just, that's a new thing that I learned myself. So, um, okay. So I do have some slides where you know, I want to breeze through these. These are the uh, advisor from the advisory council last year. Um, but I, I just want to breeze through it really very quickly. And then I wanted to go on uh, Scoutbook and, you know, we, we'll just go ahead and start playing with Scoutbook. And I'm going to share the things that I'm, I am <coughs> and um, uh, anyone, please don't hesitate to pipe in and uh, add what you know. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, so again, don't hesitate to, you know, uh, just pipe in when, when you have something to add. I, we're all scouters here and ready to, ready to go. Okay, so one of the, you know, so Scoutbook uh, is a re replacement of, of a lot of different systems and they continue to evolve. One of the things that, um, you know, I, I've, been reading some of the forums and some of the forums can get quite nasty and you know complaining about scout uh scout book and um one thing that i i hope everyone uh, realizes is that scout book itself you know like uh like everything else in sc scouting there's a lot of volunteer uh work going into it so it's not a hundred percent um um professional uh, software, it's got a lot of uh, volunteers working on it. So please uh, take that to, take that into consideration. And when you I think when you do that, then you'll, you'll, you'll quickly decide that it's not too bad a software. Um, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not going to uh, go over all this. But um, the old system just was was ready to fail with the, with the tracking system. So they they went ahead and they joined Scoutbook and, and uh, brought it into you know, into BSA properly. Um, it's web based. It's advanced. You know you're, you know it's owned by the BSA, which is really uh, nice. I mean Scoutbook at one point was uh, was not owned by. Uh, uh, BSA, and they brought that in. It was actually developed by an Eagle Scout. Um, so that's really kind of cool. It is tied directly to BSA National uh, Records, which is another good thing. So every it, once you enter it, it's there. Uh, and you're not going to, you, sh you shouldn't lose it unless the BSA National Database takes a, uh, um, you know, is hit really hard. And I'm sure that they have backup systems as well. Uh, um, one of the key things, reasons why you want you want to, if your unit is not using this uh, currently, uh, you want to use it because it really does give the scouts, the parents and scouts, a, a way to monitor their own progress. Okay, 
so as a parent myself you know it's like you're i'm trying to track my my scout and you know you show me your book and you know you get a little bit of pushback and you know and then you start asking questions with this you can always get online and look at what what they've got signed off and how they're doing and uh their merit badges and make sure that things are going well and that will uh, uh give you peace of mind as well um so now that you know once once you start using so one of one of the uh one of our participants here tonight they their troop uses troop uh, troop master like my troop used to uh and then when you when you need to go for internet advancement you need to enter all the data into the bsa national you got to transfer it all uh, i believe that there is a report you can run from troop master uh and you know be able to import that but from what I can see, the only benefit, uh, there's only a few benefits for Scout or Troop Master over Scout Book. One being that Troop Master has an offline version. Okay, so if you're offline, you, you, know, you, you download it to your phone, you got all the records in your phone, and you're off in the woods, you can be doing sign offs and making records of, of what you got. And then when you get back, then do an upload. Short of that, um, I, I'm finding Scoutbook to be a little bit, you know, uh, more direct in in, in uh, reporting. You can uh, keep track of all, uh, you know, a lot of the different things, including the calendar, and the calendar can be set up to automatically respond, uh, send reminder emails out to your uh, troop, which is uh, a neat little feature. But however, they have they do have to uh, log on to Scoutbook and put their email address in there. Um, so that's. Uh, and, and is anyone here using the payment log? No. Nope. We are. You are, Michael? Okay. Yes, we're, we're using it. We're using it as a way to communicate the, uh, the balance that a scout has in their scout account. Okay. Okay. So yeah, not was, exactly as it's intended, but it seems to work pretty well. Yes, actually, I was, I was going to be talking to my treasurer about doing that exact same thing, where we can uh, deposit it in there and, uh, and they, they can see it. Um, and make it a little bit easier. All right. I'm just gonna, as I'm gonna go ahead and get on a live version, I'm gonna with uh, of this. So I don't want to go into. Okay. Um, Can you send out that slide deck? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I just have never seen scout book before and this is really good stuff. Okay, well, Cameron, I'm happy to, to show. Okay, so I'm going to, how do I get out of that? Escape. All right. So in scout book, you know, you, you know the, the nice thing about scout book is they did use the same uh, username and password is my.scouting. So unlike my work, who has different logons for absolutely everything. So now as a parent, this is this, this is this is where you know you go if you're you're going to your dashboard and as a parent you you will see your family right here. And this is the, you know, you have to teach your, your parents how to use that, okay? You do need to get your parents to log into Scoutbook, invite them before you, you get the, real, the full benefit of this because they have to go into their individual Scout's profile where if they, they go into their profile and they, then they have to you know, go into the profile. And at the bottom, if it's not, not already done, there is an update or invite. And that's what you're going to have to use to 
uh, invite your scout, the scout to scout book. Once the, then, then the scout can log on and only the scout, it's interesting, not even the parent can add the scout's email address. So it's, it's kind of like a two-step thing. You, know, you have to get the parent on, the parent has to invite the scout, the scout has to, you know, then when lo they log in, they can actually enter their, their email into their profile. And this enables you to actually start communicating to them, okay? So as a parent, you need to, you know, you need to talk, work with your parents to get them on and go through this My Family link to get to their, get their scout on, okay? And of course, uh, merit badge counseling. Now the merit badge counselors uh, this is, especially in COVID, this is a great thing to do where now you don't have to be that uh, in person to get the merit badges done and signed off. So that's been a real big bang there. Now, interestingly enough about the merit, uh, merit badges, um, I'm going to go into my son's. So in their advancement, when you're looking at a merit badge that they're in progress on, so for example, this here, all of these, uh, you know, have notes and uh, have dates and uh, and notes if if, uh, if appropriate. When you when it goes to you know, if I print this right now. I will get that detail on the back of the card as you print it out, the individual uh, requirements and their dates and who signed it. The interesting thing is, and it is by design, I did call Scout Book on this, that once it's complete, that detail is no longer printed on the card. It's not a mistake. They, de they decided that it wasn't needed because it was fully signed off. Now, my opinion, it should be there because it looks more complete, okay? But I did verify in that they, they decided not to do that. All right. Now, okay, actually, one thing that I, um, if you're using Scout Book, there is something you do need to download for your browser. And in the, that is, is this it? So you see up here, Feature Assistant, Feature Assistant Extension for Scout Book. It's huge you definitely want to do this because this adds a whole lot more uh, functionality to Scout Book. So it's like an, uh, it's an extension uh, through the browser that works very well with Scout Book. Uh, and I'm going to show you uh, what, you know, one of the, what some of those are. Okay, but this is really a big one. For you know, so what that enables you to get is if you come down in here to your troop reports, if you don't have the extension installed, your ex your report section here is very limited. Okay, where now you get a lot more reports that you can pull, and it's not just in reports; it's also in the quick entry where you can enter merit badge requirements and activities uh, through here, update school information. And school information is good to help the scoutmaster, the leaders, uh, so that they can, once they have the school schedules and what, what days each, each school is taking off, may make it easier to make a camp out. Uh, entering, uh, um, swimmer classifications and scout leadership. Now that one was, was uh, a big thing because if you had to go through and I did it the first time where you have to go through and you know find 
turn off all the leadership positions for all the individual scouts and then come back and turn them on for all the individual scouts, it's quite a chore. Whereas if you do have the extension, you will be able to go down and Ian, who's assistant patrol leader, I'll be able to end his position and I'll be able to uh, add a position to someone else. This is only available once you have the extension. Could you tell us how to get that extension again? Like yeah, I've never that. put an extension in my browser before. <laughs> okay, so uh, that you yeah, believe you know. So in in Chrome, which is what I use by default, um, this little puzzle piece up in the corner, and there should be a manage extensions. And you'll be able to uh, somewhere here, you know, you should be able to search extensions and find it. Um, okay, I don't even have a puzzle piece in my Chrome, so okay. I must have turned it off somewhere. Yes. Um, you click on the three dots on the right. Okay. Three then dots. Go, down, go down to more tools. More tools, okay. And then extensions. Ah, okay. And then, and then what you have to do is you have to click on the three bars on the left hand side. Uh -huh. won't, it won't be that's just extensions you have. And down at the very, very bottom, it says Open Chrome Web Store on the bottom left. And then from there, you type in Scout Book, and it, it it'll pop up. Ah, thank you so much. Okay. So it looks like there's even you know several more uh, uh, ex extensions since I've uh, since I've done this. So um, it's a feature assistant extension for Scoutbook. Yep. Aha. That is huge. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah, okay. Mrs. Leonard, were you not the one that was also asking about starting merit badges, starting a bunch of merit badges at once? Uh, no, it's more adding like I want to add my entire patrol to my merit badge, like the whole patrol is doing a new merit badge and I'd like to right. add them all at so once. So yeah. that extension will allow you to do that. Ah. So um, if you'll go back to where we were looking at the extension, Absolutely. back one more from there. No, not the extent, but actually in Scout Book. And back to where you were, I think you were looking at reports or no, Absolutely. quick entry, it was under quick entry. Yep. Do, 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 do. Quick entry. At the very bottom, there's a start merit badges. Ah. And if you, I just used this the other day. Okay, if so you just click in there, you can pick which merit badge and then every scout that's participating in it. And you can even assign the merit badge counselor. Oh, that's nice. The yes. one hiccup I found is we had one scout that I was trying to assign because I was just assigning a whole patrol and I didn't know that he already had that merit badge. And once it tried to hit, it hit that scout and tried to add the merit badge he already had, it kind of glitched out on me. So I figured that out. So just as long as you're sure none of the scouts already have that merit badge, you should be fine. Aha. Uh -huh. So is this extension needed on Firefox also? I believe so. Okay, I'm having yes. trouble find, doing a little search for it here. I'm not finding it, but anyway, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen it on Firefox. I've, I only use the um, Chrome extension. What is it called again? It's called Feature Assistant for Scoutbook. Feature Assistant Extension for Scoutbook. Okay. And who was helping me with it? Uh, who was helping through all that? Thank you very much. Uh, Sonia, Troop 57. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, so yeah we've been like using Scoutbook for just about a year. Um, and I, I don't use the mail or anything, but I, I know the advancement and the merit badge stuff pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Can, can you walk us through how to find how to add all those scouts? Like, where would I look for that again? And now that I've added the extension. Okay. So it's down. Yeah. Quick entry. You go into quick entry. You know. So okay. you, you know, you definitely need to play through all of these here on on at the bottom, and at the bottom is start merit badges. Start merit badges. And that gives you a quick link to uh, add a whole bunch of scouts. Let's see here. Quick entry. 
So it should be on, you know, so once it's installed, is it not there? What are you seeing when you click quick entry? Okay, so I'm going for, I'm just going to start from the beginning again. So I'm at my dashboard. Mm -hmm. And then click into your troop. Okay, so I got to go to the troop next. Yes. Okay, got it. And then quick, quick entry, entry, start merit badges. There it is. There you go. Uh -huh. right at, the, at the very bottom underneath the scout names, you'll see a, a checkbox that will, after you've selected the merit badge and the scouts, it'll, you'll put the, um, the signature date on it and check that uh, invite merit badge counselor. And you, then it will take you in the next screen, it will take you to a list of the merit badge counselors that teach that merit badge and you can select that merit badge counselor. Aha. Just a little note that you only get the scouts that you have a, a closed link on. If you don't have a closed link, they will not appear in your list. Got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I've got I've got the ones I need. So so we just made me. her we just I, made her day. You, you just saved me this this hour long seminar just saved me you know half an hour of typing in looking up and typing in BSA IDs. Thank you. Yep. So um, other features, you know, the calendar, you can uh, put in recurring and the, as you put these in, like for a PLC, when you uh, select a PLC, uh, if I, where's the edit here? Edit event. Um, it automatically adds, when, when you choose that it's a PLC type event, then it automatically adds your senior leadership into the invitation in, into the invitees and you can turn on RSVP and permission slips and you can here you can see it's grayed out but uh, send out a notice one day before and one hour before so it's a you know neat way to automatically remind uh, everyone about the meeting as well okay. can you set it up if it's like a uh, if it's like a uh a project or something like that. If it's an environmental project, can you add the environmental hours on there? If it's like a service project or something Unf like that? No, unfortunately, the um, it, it is still limited in what you can do. And I'm finding that it's easier if the scout actually goes in on their handheld uh, and enters service hours because it, it'll you know they have an easier interface for service hours on their on their handheld device. Um, but if we put in here, let's just go ahead and create one uh, for here. I had a, a question on the calendars too. Who, who has permissions to add an event or can you add parents or scouts that can add events or anyone? Um, in, their per, in their individual uh, on mobile, mobile device version, they can, add, they can add, add anything and create an event. And it'll pretty much only be for them. Uh, but they, you know, if they have an event, I believe they can choose it and add themselves to that. Okay. Um, as for setting up a calendar event here, you have to have uh, your you have to get access to the troop uh, level uh, scout book. So here, you know, I can, I, I choose which which which. Uh, uh, area you, and you can do uh, individual patrols here, or you can do the troop, set it. And it's a troop meeting, a court of honor, PLC. So you can do campouts and training. And the, I guess your service becomes other. But as soon as you choose uh, patrol leader council and you set that, this just got uh, reduced to only the senior leadership, but that really only helps you if they've got the you know got their um, scout book set up properly, because then it'll send then you'll be able to set this you know manage the reminders, and you can see you've got quite a quite a uh, option of how you want to remind. Okay, so you can set multiples, which is nice. Okay, if it's a court of honor, 
set should just automatically invite everyone, your uh, your adult leaders and your parents. So it does it does a lot for you know in that regard for you. Can you, if you had say an event for two patrols getting together, could you invite? You'd have to do two separate entries for two calendars, or could you? Put well, what you what calendar? you can do is you can just come down here and manage your invitees and clear them. Whoops, what did I do? No invitees. Well, I didn't mean to do that. There was a button there you missed. It was on the bottom left, bottom right there underneath it. Okay. Well, go back to that. I'll go back in. I made a mistake there. Come on. So you can see the button. You can see the button that says invitees on the bottom right hand side. So you can add more people than just what's on there. Bottom right well, hand that's underneath the uh, invitee toggle. Right, yeah. right there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but you can't ch select two different patrols, can you? Yes, you can. Okay. So, um, I need to set that. And yes, that that invited the two patrols. Very cool. And, then, and if you wanted to just add two guests to come to from two other patrols, you could just go down the invitees and select yeah, you can go two more individuals and go into members and then so. Uh, oh, that would only work if you had the whole troop selected. Maybe. It only works if you only have the whole troop. If you wanted to like select two people from one patrol, you can select that patrol and deselect everybody except for those yeah. people yep. you yeah. want that, to. That's how you have to do it. Yeah, okay. okay, good to know. Who's helping me? <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, no one, I, I, I'm convinced that no one in scouting knows everything. We all are uh, in here winging it as we go. You said it was a discussion, so we figured Absolutely. we can come <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Are there a section for notes and stuff? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, you can add notes down here. Uh, this one's only seen by the admins. Uh, this is the, what goes out in the in invitation email uh, as uh, when you do the reminders. So that's a uh, nice thing there. That's where I put all my Zoom information to, uh, you know, so they get the link. Uh, you can do if it's uh, outdoor and you can add, uh, you know, if it's advancement, if you're doing something like trail to first class or you're doing a merit badge, uh, you can add it here. Um, for example, let's find merit badges. You can select that. And so now this is uh, American business. You know, that's gonna be our planned event. And you can turn on and off the end of you know the things you're not going to cover. And I believe what that does is automatically, when at the end of the you know automatically put that into their merit badge as you know being covered. I think you know, I see you still have to will have to go back and mark it approved but I believe it will actually mark it as done, right? So, and there is a def definitive distinction there. A scout on his mobile device can enter anything that he believes is done, okay? So he's working on a merit badge. He you know, completes, you know, the, you know, three things and he can go in and mark it done. That doesn't mean it's approved. So your merit badge counselor will can come back later and mark it all approved or they or in many instances they just mark the the merit badge approved so it's you know they do it you know merit badge counselors can do that with in one shot and mark everything approved okay so that that's kind of a neat thing you can do there with uh, planned advancement. So that's a good thing you can do there and give yourself a, a, a basically a meeting you know, meeting plan, right right from that. 
You can do your uh, repeating meetings. Um, that I tried, I didn't really like how that worked because I wanted to be able, you know, you can't then go back in and individualize each meeting. What's the topic? What are you doing? So it, you know, it didn't, that really didn't work for me. I did do that as you, uh, for the PLC uh, meeting, I did set that to recurring. All right. Map URL. That's that's uh, you, if you put that in there, that that then comes up on the uh, on the invitation as well to give it give help uh, give instructions how to get to where you're going. So that's kind of a nice thing there. You can invite external guests if you got a guest speaker. So if you add them right there, they get the reminders just as well. What's the uh, slips portion over there on the right hand side? I'm, the slips, yeah. the permission slips. So if you're going on a on an uh, on an outing where you want permission slips, so save your event first and then try again. Okay, so we'd have to save this. Enter a name, test. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, oh, here, that's, that's a good point. So it's not allowing me to save this because I only have one adult. Okay. And that's because this, these patrols, you know, uh, are, are, only the Basilisk Patrol has an assigned adult leader, right? So that's something that we'd have to you know, rectify. So if I can go in here, leaders, parents, set. Um, is it gonna let me save it now with two adults? Doesn't like this for whatever reason. Hmm. I've never used the, the slips, but okay. That's something I'm going to have to look up. You know how what what, what I've never used it, so I'll. I'll be learning that, and as soon as I learn it out, learn it. Uh, I'm going to have everyone's email address. I'll send you what I learn. Okay, so I'm going to look up slips in calendar. What uh, there is actually, you know, something I, you know, you can actually get almost real time. Well, in fact, pretty real time uh, support if you go on Facebook. And you look up Scout Book on Facebook, and you just start messaging them directly. They actually do have people, you know, who are for whatever reason online, and and they'll answer you in a few minutes. And that's really helped me out a lot too. So I pulled up the slips on my activities in Scout Book, and it's individualized for each participant, youth participant. It's the boilerplate. Uh, thing with that scout's uh, contact information, so their name and an address and the dates for that event. Uh, so you can just print them out like a PDF to give to the parents to sign uh, for permission to go on an activity. Well, that's cool. Okay. So if you require permission slips, you can actually print it, print out uh, individualized permission slips. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Okay. I'm gonna jump back out of this. You noticed, uh, so in that, when I tried to invite those two uh, patrols to this outing, and only one of them, there was only one one adult leader. That's that's assigned here in the patrol, so you can add leaders to your patrol, 
you can search for them um, you know by 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 their name or you can add them in direct directly uh, adding their position as well so this works out very well um, Norwood if I search for Norwood and I get quite a few of them. So I'd have to go in and I have to say, Chris. But Chris is out of council, so he may not be in there. No, it, you know, this is giving me Coronado area. Yeah, um, that's pretty yeah. much the whole database right there. It's everyone. So, yep. There, there we, you know, so we can uh, choose any one of them. Okay. So, the, you know, it's got, it's, it's really nice to where you, you know, you can look up and find your adult leaders and you find your merit badges. The merit badge, can, you know, look up works much the same. Uh, you can look up by name. I have not discovered how it decides when to look up by name or by merit badge. Sometimes when you go in and you're trying to invite a counselor, it automatically pulls just the merit badge, uh, those that are merit badge, and doesn't give you an opportunity to search by name first. Um, so I don't know exactly why that's happening as of yet. Could you show me again how you got to that search for individual people part? So, okay, so in this case, I wanted to add a new, uh, an, an, another adult to this basilisk patrol. Okay. So I want to add a leader. Oh, okay. So. Gotcha. Okay. okay. I, just didn't see, I missed a step. I was just looking at another page when you did that. Okay. And you can, you can type them in directly as well. You know, if you know their BSA ID. Okay. All right. Um, you can, you know, your patrols are you know, fairly easy to manage. And, and, you know, what I was having a problem with is when it, with my scouts, I couldn't remember who they, what patrol they were in. This has actually helped me a lot, you know, in, in seeing it this, in this format and then working with it. Uh, I've been able to better, better memorize which patrol they're working in. So, you know, that's an added benefit that I've really enjoyed. And we've created a, an inactive patrol, you know, just move them into it so that we, you know, don't, you know, don't necessarily have to remove them out of the charter right now, but uh, they're, they're still chartered to the end of the year. We just move them into the inactive um, so we don't really worry about them anymore. Um, you do have your troop roster. And this is absolutely everyone in your troop, both uh, adults and uh, scouts, their position. And you can see who has uh, joined the uh, scout book. Okay, so if they have, you know, you need to get all your adult leaders to onto, onto scout book, it does make a difference. Okay. Let's see. Um, we've already talked about printing of blue cards. Printing of blue cards, you can you you have uh, you you can do all the merit badges, the incomplete, or you can put it just put in a date range. And the neat thing is, you can print print on plain paper, so it'll print out everything for you, all the lines and all that. They you can buy the the card stock. Uh, I believe from scoutstuff.org and you can buy the, the card stuff, card stock that will, uh, but the, then the, your printer will just fill in all the boxes that are already on the card stock. So that's kind of nice, um, but you don't really need to. And uh, so this is, this is the best way that I've found to uh, print out those lost, lost uh, blue cards and uh, return them to the scouts before their eagle review. Uh, 
let's see what do I want to go into. Now, you know, so it gives a great view of each individual scout's uh, progress, all their all their ranks, all their merit badges, and all their awards. Now, not you know all their awards that we're used to seeing, like like uh, uh, specific camp awards, we won't find here. But you will find stuff you didn't, you know, you may have forgotten uh, or didn't know was available. So if you go into the uh, into these, so here's a list of all the different awards that Scout Book tracks, and it even you know because it's because for example, hometown USA award is based on some merit badges. When the merit badges are uh, are complete, it automatically you know shows the percent of, that applies to that award. Another good way to incentivize a scout to go do a little bit extra. Everyone likes uh, a little bit of bling, right? And I, I think even we as adults like the bling. So that's a, that's a nice thing there uh, in, the, in the quick awards. Uh, and it's something to, that the scouts can then go see directly when they when they are on scout book on their mobile device okay unfortunately what the, what is not available in scout book is the adding of the ad hoc awards you know so your troop awards that that would be something that uh i think would make a good addition to scout book where troops have their specialty they have their uh traditions and they want to give that award to and track that award i think that would be a good addition that we should be uh asking scout book for now scout book as i understand it has a very long list of requests that they're doing uh and reviewing for to see if they can do it but you know what the squeaky wheel does get the get the grease. So the more people that ask for stuff, if they can if they can, uh, you know, see that one area has gotten a lot of interest, that'll be probably where they start doing some focus. Okay. What is the best way to log those requests? Uh, right here, there is a forum. Okay, so, so just go, go to the forum and yep, go to the forum. I've made posts before there. Yep. Never gotten an answer really, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't see get you know I if I'm doing it through the forums I'm not looking for uh, feedback, um, you know I, I've gone back you know you have to go back in and uh, find it yourself, but uh, if you're looking for immediate feedback to like a question I I found that Facebook has been the fastest way to get it, okay, the Facebook uh, the Facebook instant messenger. Okay. Do you know if it has the like the adult awards, the knots, and all that stuff in there? Nope, it does not have the adults. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes, yes, it would. Um, it does. Uh, you know, this will be helpful for your training as well. Troop reports for your uh, YPT status report and your trained leader status. It's a good way to uh, keep, you know, get that report easy and straightforward to use. And uh, um, I used this just the other day and it sent, it sent out an email to all, all my uh, adults that had, uh, had let it lapse and I'm getting, uh, getting response. So it's a good way to get that uh, adult YPT status. So right there. So your, uh, you know, the merit badge counselor list. That's always been a big thing. You can look, uh, look, look. You know, in this regard, you're looking for a specific badge. Uh, let's find one. That's. Is there one that is? A little theater. Let's look for theater. Okay. So in five miles, I've got six 
merit badge counselor is available for theater. And that's actually, that actually surprises me. Um, but, uh, you know, and I don't, you know, this available busy in both. I've never seen anyone, uh, you know, seen this do anything different uh, because if you look at the merit badge counselors, many of them ha are already working with multiple kids anyway. And I, I don't believe that this actually, or at least it didn't the other uh, last time I tried it. Um, okay, so those merit badge counselors are, are busy, so they are not going to be available. So I actually use that myself um, okay. because I'm, I'm a merit badge counselor for many, many merit badges. And when I get to a certain point where I'm working with enough scouts, you have to go into your profile and mark yourself as busy. Okay. And then you won't show up in just that regular search. So, so you, you know, you'll do that from your from dashboard? My, from your dashboard in your profile in for my, my account. Okay. And then and, actually, I think it's under your positions, under my positions. Okay. And then if you find your merit badge counselor, you click on that one. And you can mark yourself busy. You can busy. mark yourself busy. So if you've re reached your maximum capacity and you don't <laughs> want the kids asking you for more, <laughs> um, then you can mark yourself busy. And that's, that's my status right now. <laughs> but <laughs> once I get through a few of these merit badges, then I'll open myself up again. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Okay. All right. How how do you add yourself on to more merit badge counselors? Ah, you can't. You cannot do that. You have to fill out the merit badge counselor um, application. It's just the uh, it's not the it's not the multi part form for the adults. It's just a single piece of paper. Uh, but you have to select your uh, merit badge merit badges that you want and send it to council. So I believe it's Tori Berlin Berlinger, Tori or some, Tori or Lori, at council. Uh, so she she she's the one that I've been sending them to, uh, and then that gets updated from there. So yeah, it. I've been sending, e I just sent an email to Greg Buchanan and then a couple of days later, it shows up in Scout Book that I can do that merit badge. Yeah, so Greg has probably just handed it off to Tori. Ah, <laughs> but hey. yeah, you, you just send your, your name, your uh, Scout BSA ID and what merit badge you wanna counsel and why you should be qualified to counsel it and then it gets added. Yeah, so there, you know, um, but yeah, it, it looks, it, it almost looks like you can do it yourself, but you can't, it will not allow you. <laughs> I've tried. Okay. Um, it, quick merit badge, a uh, quick entry for merit badge counselor. Uh, you, you can sign off completed merit badges. You can uh, enter merit badge requirements. Um, I, st I was still asking my uh, merit badge counselors to, you know, do the individual requirements um, and sign them all off individually because even though it doesn't print on the card, it is in the record. So my preference, and again, this is just pure personal preference, is I've asked my, the merit badge counselors for my troop to enter, go in through and mark the requirements complete. And once all the requirements are complete, the merit badge itself marks itself complete. Uh, but I think that just gives a more complete story and fills in all the blanks. Um, but again, that's my personal requirement. Uh, now, if you're if you're working with individual scouts uh, and you you need to add a merit badge, you're, say you're working with a specific scout like my son, I can uh, well I'm go into his advancement and I can start another merit badge just for him. Because, you know, I'm going through, you know, we're going through his merit badges and, oh, you don't have this, you know, you have the blue card, but it's not started in scout book. So it's, it's easy to 
reconcile each individual scout through this uh, through this window. Uh, you go into the you know the scout and into their advancement window, and you're able to uh, to reconcile everything directly there with the one scout. This is a good place to be uh, when you're doing a. Uh, I've done this several times with during a scoutmaster conference where I'll bring this up, and it, you know it helps with the conversation because I'll be able to say, "Hey, you got first class in 2016, and it took you three years to get to star." You know, tell me about that and why did why that happened, uh, and then you can go into the life, you know, into into the in into these individual ones and then start signing things off right then and there. Now, because most scouts all also come with their binder, you can check to make sure that uh, you know what what merit badges they've got open what merit badges they've got closed and just do a general check and make sure everything is indeed correct. And on the same token with that, I do recommend uh, that they use their mobile device and check that their uh, career is correctly recorded as well. Now, um, that's a, surprisingly been an hour already. 57 minutes. I don't feel like I've talked that long, but you know, uh, and I, I've, I greatly have appreciated all the all the help uh, that's come in. So uh, I'm still available. I can stay on a little longer and, and talk with anyone that wants to your call. Um, anyone, you know, or anyone got any specific questions that we can quick question uh -huh. um on troop master allows for recording you know all activities um in, include beyond camping and service is there a way to record it, you know if they go out on just uh, an activity just for um keeping record of it or keeping for their uh, 10 activities like if they go ice skating or, or trampoline or something yeah, they can on their individual uh, mobile device. They can add a add a uh, activity, and it's in, in my opinion that's an easier way to do it. Um, you know, but but it, you're yeah you're the scout has it would have to do it because many some of these you have to you know, I found you have to go all the way back to internet advancement into that area of the uh, of the. Uh, software, which is not as nice yet yeah. as Scoutbook. Okay, so there's definitely, you know, so Scoutbook has come a, come a fairly uh, long way in the past year, and I, I expect it's going to continue to evolve and get better. I'm hoping, um, but no, I I think that you you can record just about everything. And I think the best, but the best way is to let the scout do it individually. Okay. Uh, two questions. So the first I'm on my internet advancement and does it allow for leaders to keep track of their camping and hiking and service hours? Or is that just strictly for scouts? Well, I'm going to go into uh, my 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 application on my phone. Come on. Come on. Events. Um, no, I'm not seeing that. I, I don't think that uh, as an adult you get, you know, to do that either. I think you need to 
uh, that's where you know, I think you're stuck going to internet okay. advancement to do it. Okay. okay. Um, my next question is, um, when I go out and lead a camping trip, you said something about the forms are already in Scoutbook. So if you're doing, if you set it up on the, on, on the calendar, So can kids sign up through the calendar? They can RSVP through the calendar, yes. And you can charge them fees through? I, I you know, so there is a, uh, a, um, a financial side of this, how that, if that uh, automatically would dock their account, I'm not sure, but there is a, um, there is the, Come back down here. Do you guys use that? So is that how we, kids sign up for your trips? We don't. We don't use that. Use the financial side yet. Okay. But you and do. I believe Adam, it was you or Chris said that you only use it for uh, you know tracking their how much money they have. Okay. Okay. Does, does the payments accept uh, PayPal or how does it? How does the money transfer with? with I, I don't believe that it accepts PayPal yet. Uh, so here you you know you got a payment log, uh, so you can get a log. You know that's just a uh, report. I think this is primarily run by your treasurer. I'm not quite worried about the money. I'm just worried about the paperwork that we always had to carry on to the uh, trip. So, for, for example, their uh, ABC forms? Yes, correct. Yeah. ABC forms are not recordable. Got it. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. You're not supposed to record them uh, in any shape, way, or form. Uh, you keep them in a binder and you take them hard copy. Okay. Good yeah. Hi HIPAA. Uh, yeah. HIPAA rules. A now, has a a thing for recording their um, health forms versus exp expiration date of the form. Yeah, so that's all all you can record here is the you know when it expires. Now, that interestingly enough, Troopmaster, which is not BSA, uh, allow you know has a uh, place where you can upload those forms, but it is not BSA approved to do so. So yeah, your all your paperwork. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but what but what 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 that calendar did do is did uh, allow you to let's let's go back into that again. So permission, you know, so this is just permission slips. It's not the actual uh, um, ABC form. Uh, to, to look at the ABC form, that is in the individual scouts. And is there a report for that? Troop reports. No, no, there's not. So if you go into the individual individual scout, I do know that there, you know, I want to show you where that gets uh, recorded. So their annual uh, health record, A, B date and, and C date. So as you can see, my troop is not using that that function yet either. Okay. So, you know, we just started, you know, switching over to uh, from Troop Master to Scout Book this year. And I found what I what what I really, really convinced me to do this was the merit badge counselors getting it such that they could record uh, and we could, 
you know, you, honestly, you have the option of going, uh, you know, paperless for the blue cards and then just printing them when you're done. Uh, it gives you a better record. It actually controls it a lot better because the only, you know, to invite them to that merit badge, they have to be a registered counselor for that merit badge. So I don't know about your troop, but I know in my troop, I've got merit badge counselors that they aren't signed up for personal fitness, but they're signing it off, you know? Um, so it's, you know, I think you get better control through a scout book. Okay. okay, this is, I I saw how to look at my merit badge things that I can currently teach, but I don't know how to get back to that screen. Okay, that's back in your, you know, back of the dashboard, my account, my positions, merit badge counselor. Back of the dashboard. My account. And then my position. Oh, my, my dash, back of the dashboard. Mm -hmm. Then my account. Where's my account located at? It might be underneath administration. Um, nope. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, I'm not sure, you know, if you go all the way back to the base, I don't even know why they made that. You know, the administration level should be the base. Okay. Then you go into my account and then my positions. And I had another question. Our troop is starting our transition from troop master. Did you find an easy way for your transmit for when, you, when you transferred over to the transfer over other than a, like, especially the activities or um, the in, incomplete rank advancements to uh, sink if, out and sink in? If, if, if there, you know, so I found that uh, all the incompletes did transfer using the, uh, the, I had to search for the, uh, procedure to do so, but I found most of those did transfer. The activities, no. Yeah, just one by one manually enter them. Yeah, so, and and you know, so that's where I'm. I'm also working with all my scouts and saying, go in and and enter your service, enter your camping nights, because there is, a, you know, if they enter it, um, then it's easier to approve it. Uh, and takes a lot of burden off of you for entering for 50 scouts. Okay, disperse that work. Make make have each scout do it, and then you can go back and uh, and approve it. Okay, and it'll be a lot easier on your part. Uh, then also there is a uh, report, um, and, and so camping is 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 something that you really want to do because there's an OA eligibility report yeah okay and you know none of my scouts uh qualify because none of them have any camping in it so and that's one area that i hope that uh, scout book is working on okay so maybe you want to give your your email address kevin or you'll you'll send out uh Absolutely. Your slides to these people because unfortunately I, we got to end the meeting. Okay. This has been really cool. I actually stayed on because it's fascinating and it was it was cool to see everybody helping. Yep. No one knows everything. I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah, so thanks again. This has been so helpful. I really appreciate it. No problem. I'm happy to do it. And you what? can probably stop the record now. Okay. Stop recording. <laughs>